Hey guys and welcome back. We're going to go ahead and cover a few more questions off of the arithmetic reasoning portion of the ASVAB. So let's go ahead and dive right in and let's see what we can learn. So for this arithmetic reasoning question, we're going to have to go ahead and add all these numbers up. Now notice I added some numbers to the list because it mentioned two of each of these guys, so I put one right above for each of those. And down here it says 250 and 85 were also added, so I put those at the top. Now we have to go through and actually just add straight up across here. So we got 5, 5, and 5 for a total of 15. Carry that 1 over. We have a 1, a 5, an 8 a five, five, another eight, another eight. That's gonna all add up to 40. So put a four over here and it's gonna be a zero down here. Then we have the four, the two, five, eight, eight, and a three down here for a total of 30. So we're gonna put the zero, carry the three. And then we have three plus three is six, plus another two is going to be eight. So our final answer is D. So in this question, we're supposed to find the average amount of time per weekday. Well, we have five days here, so to find average, we have to add up all of this time and then divide by five to find out per day. Typically, it would probably be easier to switch all of these to minutes, just straight up how many minutes total. But in this case, it actually ends up being faster to do hours because I noticed right off the bat, 30 and 30 would give me one hour, and 15 and 45 would give me two hours. So we have to add all these hours up and then divide by five. So three and three makes six, with four makes a 10. Then I have three more here for 13 plus two is 15. So I need to divide that by five because that's how many days out of the week that they're actually training. And that's going to give me a final answer of three hours per day, which is B, three hours on average. So sometimes the name of the game on this test is speed. So it says here that a woman's resting heartbeat is 72 beats per minute. She's at rest for six and a half hours. So how many times did her heart beat in that case? Well, first off, don't forget we're going from minutes here to hours. So I'm going to do 72 times 60. Now, 72 times 60 is going to end up giving me a total of about 4,320. Um, just by doing the 6 times 72 would give me the 432, and then that 0 will go here. So now we have the how many beats per hour, and we have 6 of these. Well, right off the bat, if I do 6 times the 4 here, that's going to give me 24. So it's at least 24,000, and 43 seems way too high. So I'm going to go with answer B, 28,080. There is a lot going on here. So there's a total health care bill of 140000 We find out that that's found by adding an emergency room, a hospice bill, and a nursing bill. And we have to find this total in the N. So the first thing we're going to do is combine all of these so that we can find the emergency room bill. Technically, a 1 out front here is 4 over 4. So we do that so we can add the fractions. As long as the number is the same on the bottom, we can just add across the top. So 4 plus 1 plus 2 is going to give me 7 over 4. E. Now we have to solve for E, so we're going to multiply 4 to the other side. 4 times 140,000 is going to give me 56, there's 0, 0, 0. And then we need to divide that by that 7 on top, so divide by 7. Well, 56 divided by 7 is 8, so that's just going to end up giving me 80,000. Now that's E, and the nursing is half of that, because 2 over 4 is a half. So divide that by 2, and you get C, 40,000. So Chuck here is making a patio using a foot and a half cement squares. He's using 10 of them across and 10 down. And they want to know the final dimensions in feet. Well, if it is a foot and a half and we have 10 of them, well, we have the 10 for the one foot each. And then we have half of that for this half we're adding on. So half of 10 is 5. So that means we have 15 feet going across here, 10 plus the 5, and another 15 going down here with the other 10. That means our dimension should be 15 by 15, which is D. Hey guys, that's all we're going to cover for today, but remember, you can always click on any of these videos over here to help you keep studying for your next attempt on the ASVAB.